It's a hot September night here in the backyard, so please excuse the shine on my forehead. Tonight we're going after a deep sky nebula on the main rig, and just for fun we'll check out the planet Saturn on the monster scope. I have some exciting updates for you guys, and we're long overdue for a catch up. So I'm pumped to take some great pictures tonight, but I'm even more excited to just be hanging out with you guys in the backyard again. With so many great channels out there now, I hope you haven't forgotten about the Astro Backyard. Tonight we're going after a really dynamic looking astrophotography target known as the Lion Nebula. It's bright, it actually does look like a lion, and this month is a great time to go after it. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you haven't tried this one yet, definitely add Sharpless 132 to your list. As you can see, I'm finally getting some imaging time in with the William Optics GT81. It shoots just under 500 millimeters at f5.9. It's the perfect field of view to capture the lion. Okay, wait, before we geek out on equipment, we need to catch up. Summer is over. How did that happen? What did I put out? Four videos? That's not enough. Ash and I went to three star parties this summer, and if you've ever been to one, you know what a whirlwind they are. The people, the skies, and of course, the astrophotography. I got to meet some of the best up and coming young astrophotographers at these events, and it makes me so proud. If you didn't make it out to an astronomy event this summer, make it a priority for next year. Find out where the closest one to you is and just register. You'll learn a year's worth of tips in a single night just by connecting with others one-on-one. -on -one. Aside from the fun times, Ash and I took some of our best astro photos ever on these trips. Check out the photo of the heart and soul nebula Ashley took on the Gear 60. She's got that whole natural look thing down pat. I'm pretty proud of my image of the Ghost Nebula too. That's a target that I've had on my list for a long time. We're already planning some new trips for next year, including something special for the total solar eclipse in April 2024. I love traveling, but man, it feels so good to be back here in the backyard with Rudy. Hi, bud. You may have noticed that I've mounted the ZWO AM5 mount to a new tripod. I wanted something that was a lot taller than the standard ZWO tripod, but was just as light. A tripod is a great option, and I've seen a few AM5 set up this way. It's better clearance for that scope swinging around as well. This rig is pretty decked out. I can shoot in RGB or narrow band. I can plate solve, auto guide, but I still need to rotate the camera and manually focus like a caveman. The GT81 uses is the new WIFD internal focus design. It's the same one that's on the RedCat 61. The one thing you need to watch out for is the coarse focuser knob running into the mount saddle. You can use risers or just do what I did and find a spot where it fits. It's pretty tight. Also, I spent a lot of time trying to get the back spacing right on this setup and it's still not perfect. The stars didn't look great in the corners of my APS-C camera in my test shots so I had to play with the adjuster on the flattener to find the sweet spot. Believe it or not, I still don't have the right spacing, so I'm gonna have to crop about 10% of my final image, which kinda sucks. I'll have to sort this out before my next session with this scope. The Lion Nebula is located within the northern constellation Cepheus between the Wizard Nebula and the Elephant's Trunk Nebula, if you've ever gone after those targets. Astrophotographers in the city will be happy to know that it's a suitable choice for narrowband imaging. I'll use HA and O3 filters to capture some punchy data and create a bi-color image. Based on the forecast, it looks like I may even get two nights on the Lion, which would be a huge bonus. I know a lot of you have been photographing the planet Saturn recently, which is is a smart choice considering it was at opposition last week. In fact, Saturn is still nearly opposite the sun. It's very bright and it's out all night long. I'll take a look at it through my Dobsonian telescope and try to get a decent picture of it with my planetary astrophotography camera attached. This tracking Dob isn't my longest focal length telescope, but I can't just not take advantage of this 14 inch mirror. I've really been enjoying using the video mode on the ASI Air in place of my laptop computer and the fire capture software. It's super easy easy and you still have lots of control. It's one of those things where when I discovered it, I'm like, people know this exists, right? Kind of a big deal. 
video mode on the ASI Air. Gotta try it. Okay, it's almost time to get polar aligned and pointed at my target. Once I get this telescope dialed in on the Lion, we'll hop over to the Daub and check out Saturn. It's a beautiful clear night, but man, it is hot out here. So I'm onto the luminance filter now on Saturn. Because I'm using a monochrome planetary camera, I have to put in these RGB filters and now luminance to create this color image of Saturn. But this camera is a lot more sensitive and has a higher frame rate than some of my one-shot color cameras. So it's, it's worth the extra effort. The problem is I don't actually have a filter wheel. So I'm just manually slotting in these two inch color filters one at a time to get these videos recorded of Saturn. I'm going for two minutes each. Uh, it looks like this one's at about a minute and a half now. And then I'll have these four two minute videos to run through Auto Stacker and Registax. I'm at the stage in my astrophotography journey where I'm ready to level up my personal imaging game. My primary goal will always be to help others get started in this hobby, but I think it's important for me to grow as an astrophotographer as well. There are some really talented imagers out there that I really admire, and I hope to one day get to their level. So I'd like to dedicate my latest photo of the Lion Nebula to the incredible friends I've made this summer. You guys inspire me to keep pushing forward and give me strength. When things get rough, just remember that I'm rooting for you guys and that we're all in this together.